time it's not happy it's saying braking chassis stability transmission error we have codes to the gills interestingly enough we cannot communicate with the engine computer the DME everyone welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics we got a European today 2011 BMW X5 with the twin turbo engine N55 no crank no start owner said he drove it parked it left it for a couple weeks came back nothing the lights come on the dash we don't have uh, any starter action so scan this thing for codes I mean, it's not happy it's saying braking chassis stability, transmission error. We have codes to the gills. Interestingly enough, we cannot communicate with the engine computer, the DME. Okay, so if we do fault report, in the car access system, that's you know tied into the start button. We have three current codes, output terminal 50. Terminal 50 goes right to the starter solenoid. So is there a problem with this module sending power to the starter? And why is our little selector blinking here? We have no message from the transmission, no message from the engine computer. Really a lot of codes and the car ran fine you know not too long ago so where do you start powers ground do you want to go after the engine computer on a BMW you have dozens of modules here so you know I spent about an hour on this car and then I remembered the case with the Ford Fiesta that didn't crank my question is you know if some modules are offline could we have a poor ground? All you need is a test light. With the test light from our positive battery stud, there, nice bright light here, right? On the body. On the engine, very, very dim light. Also on the engine mount here, quite dim. Quick and dirty, let's make a bypass ground from here to here. You heard some stuff activate, you know, something definitely happened. And now, excellent. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Russian power. <laughs> so, Let's do another fault report, clear all these codes out. And then we need to find where this main block ground is uh, is located. So in this case, I was kind of like, oh man, BMW, you know, it's gonna take hours and hours and hours, but one simple check, I didn't believe it. I'm like, why is the test light dim? It should be bright. It's bright on the body, it's dim on the engine jumper cable it basically jumped itself and started up it it really blows my mind okay so all the faults are cleared we only have three codes left in the entire vehicle probably not gonna stay that way for long but some DSC interface instrument cluster gearbox position implausible everything else is normal and our DME where's our where's our engine computer here ECM is normal. Most excellent. Now we just have to locate the actual bad ground. So we found the green crusties on the main ground strap. It is down here. There it is, green and crusty. So if we pull on that, I'm sure it will just disintegrate into pieces. Like a pop over. Opa. 
Yep, there it is. Perfect. So all it needs is a ground strap and this BMW will be there's as good as good as new, right? <laughs> Excellent. So pretty pretty simple problem for <laughs> how many codes were set. But thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.